Welcome to Basically. And to the next session of Data Sheet Decoding. Today we are going to explain what is meant by a manufacturer part number of an electronic component and its importance. Basically a part number is an unique identifier of a particular part used in an industry. It helps us to unambiguously identify a part within a single corporation and sometimes across several corporations. In general there are two types of part numbering systems. Significant number system and non-significant number system. In significant system, numbers are assigned intelligently. That means there will be an encoding system or method is available, according to that part number will indicate its specifications and characteristics of the component for example, a part number VR1001TR can be described such as V means Vichy the name of manufacturer, R means resistor. 1001 indicates the resistance value and TR means the tape and reel packaging. It's just an example for understanding the significant number system, in actual case it is not simple as this. In case of non-significant systems, part numbers are assigned in some other fashion, such as sequentially. Which may not tell the user anything about its characteristics. Next I am going to show you the importance of a part number by searching a 1 kilo ohm through hole resistor on Digikey. We can see that, the total number of through hole resistors available in Digikey is more than 5 locks. Now I am going to select the through hole resistors. In this page we can see many filter options such as manufacturer, packaging, resistance, tolerance, power etc. There are around 25 vendors for manufacturing a resistor with different kinds of specifications and properties. We can see those lists of available resistors in a table and we can see two columns which show two types of part numbers, Digikey part number and manufacturer part number. Ok now I am going to apply the filter with 1 kilo ohm resistor value. Now the number of available 1 kilo ohm resistors are 3457 from the 25 manufacturers. In the below table, around 15 plus columns to describe the properties of each resistor. That means there is a large number of resistors available from multiple vendors. Here comes the question, how they are going to manage and track this much of components. Let's take an example, we need a 1 kilo ohm through hole resistor with quarter watt power. After filtering the list with these two specs, now 559 parts are listed. Resistance and power are not only the parameters that we need to consider when you're going to select a part but also the price, tolerance, resistor package size and so many other specifications. After the selection, to purchase it we can't send a mail to the vendor which describes the whole specification and quantity. It's become a very very difficult job when we need a large number of different parts. Here comes the advantage of a manufacturer part number. With this unique part number assigned by the manufacturer, we can refer to the part using that number. That part number contains the whole description and specification about the part, because it's a significant part number. Then the vendor or distributor can easily understand which part we needed and they can easily manage and track that part with this unique number. I can also show you that, by searching with this part number we get only one part within that specification. The two rows shown because this part is available in 5000 minimum quantity with tape and reel packaging and one number of minimum quantity with cut tape packaging.
As I said, part number is an identifier. A combination of numbers, letters, and symbols assigned by a manufacturer, or vendor to identify a specific part. And there are two types of part numbering systems, significant and non-significant, and also we can call it as intelligent and non-intelligent systems respectively. Most of the part numbers of electronic components are defined by the significant number system. That means there is an encoding method available to extract the specifications and characteristics of that particular component under that part number. That encoding method will be available on the data sheet of the respective part. Like this, under the heading How to Order. Using this we can decode the information from part number and also find a part number with different specifications. In our next session we will explain how to decode this manufacturer part number of a component using its data sheet. We are expecting that this session will give you an idea on what is meant by a manufacturer part number and its importance. If you need any clarifications or have any doubts, please put it on the comments, we can discuss. And thank you for watching us.